What is the transformation of television now that we're kind of going through that you think will be part of the conversation at CES? Uh, I think the conversation that should be had is about the fact that consumers are really in control. You know, the rise of ad blocking is consumers in control. The rise of VOD behavior is consumers in control. So when we get together as an industry, we cannot forget that the users will do what they want to do and we can't force our will upon them. Otherwise, they'll just pivot away. So you got to recognize what's going on with the control shifting from a programmer to a viewer, going from broadcast to, to borrow a phrase, point casting. And all these new models are rewarding that on-demand behavior that consumers are embracing. So when it comes to mini bundles, a la carte pricing for uh, a la carte offerings from the cable guys, uh, the rise in all the SVOD packages out there, it's all about consumer. So if you super, su super serve the consumer, you'll be okay. What do you think we can see next, Peter, in terms of uh, the strategy of the big broadcasters, cable operators um, in the future? And not to speak to Hulu specifically, but how do you see distribution changing of content um, you know, in the year ahead? It feels as though the broadcasters are understanding that viewership is happening. Uh, it's just happening in a more fragmented way than ever. So the pressure is greater than ever for accurate measurement, for reassembling the audience so, so the broadcasters can go to the market with the biggest possible audience. The fact that Fox has pretty much given up on live uh, same-day ratings is a real important sign of the times. Um, in an equal breath, you see that Nielsen and others are trying to uh, measure total audience ratings across all platforms. Again, reassembling that audience to bring to market. Um, and when you look at the rise of SVOD platforms like Hulu and others, it just shows that there's viewing happening in a lot of windows and a lot of places. And I think the biggest broadcasting cable outlets are trying to figure out how to capitalize on capturing all those viewers and getting credit for all the viewing that's happening against their content. How do you see consumption on platforms? Is it Roku? Is it the smart TVs? Is it uh, where, where do you see consumption uh, going in terms of the hardware itself? Well, it's funny because um, when Hulu started eight years ago, 100% of our consumption happened in a desktop environment. Today, two thirds of our viewing happens on a television set through Roku, PlayStation, Xbox, Fire TV, Apple TV, Chromecast, and others. So we've kind of put the TV back into the TV. So I think the device manufacturers are certainly going to enjoy um, continued great business. You know, the rise of mobile and tablet screens is undeniable. Um, and people will continue to watch where and how they want to watch. But our, our view of the audience, we're seeing a real surge in living room viewing for IP served television. There's so much work being done to try to come up with accurate measurement of, of all the viewing that's happening out there. And there's still many, many holes. Uh, because of methodology or sample sizes, uh, because consumers, you know, they're pesky in that they'll do whatever the heck they want, irrespective of what the businesses and the measurement companies want them to do. So there's still at least double digit um, leakage, if you will, of viewers and viewing that isn't being appropriately measured. Uh, the biggest holes happen to be on the newest platforms and the newest platform viewing is probably the most coveted viewer in terms of where marketers want to reach these people. So everyone's focused on it, and I'm sure by this time next year we'll have a lot more of those holes plugged, um, but we've still got some work to do. You guys have a big presence at CES. Tell us what's going on, what, uh, you know, what Hulu is doing, and you know, what you hope to, uh, to accomplish there with, with your various constituents. Yeah, sure. We're a company that brings dozens of folks because we're interested in talking to the advertisers, uh, the manufacturers and the hardware, uh, the distribution guys, the, the content guys. Uh, it's a very busy time for us. We just hope to continue to build on the momentum we have right now, which is um, increase in uh, viewing across all platforms, hence the hardware, increase in creating new original content. We're obviously a big buyer of content out there. Uh, the marketers who are there, we want to talk to them about 
how we can impact their business. I mean, it's, you know, it's a Super Bowl for many, many companies, including Hulu.